back to the channel guys and a new video this is Juris in the background BMW specialist and I'm just gonna let him do his thing he's got loads and loads of coding to do and of course as soon as he's done that we'll have a bit of a chat with him find out what he's done and what else we need to do on the car time-lapse Juris for too much longer but basically he's come today to do the programming on the steering rack well he actually did that while he was here and it took him seconds it's quite a common thing but it's actually the airbags that he's done so he's programmed in the new airbag module and then what he just explained to me is once he programs that in it does a full circle and programs in all four seat belts all of the airbags so that they're all back completely to factory you can see he's got a battery conditioner on there, a smart battery conditioner, just checking everything. And also, he has just programmed in that headlight. There is still quite a few faults left. He did say, kindly, well, I've got this new yellow lead, so OBD to uh, the computer. The, the, I, no, I can't even think what the end of it's called now. But basically, I've got that lead. He said, if we have any problems, I can connect it to my laptop do a team share with him and you can connect and clear them but the majority of the codes that are left are all the front bumper and we've just noticed there's a couple of broken wires on that and also the pedestrian protection just down here also has a broken plug but that did not go off because the hinges never went so we're going to get all that repaired he did say I should be able to clear all of them on our launch computer but if for any reason we can't he's going to do a team share and get it hooked up for us you don't have a website, Juris, do you? Just a phone number? Uh, yeah, I do have a website. Oh, you have a website. Yeah, yeah. So I'll put his link in the description down below. Uh, one thing he did say to me, and I actually read it on his WhatsApp, on his profile there, and that is, he is not an advice <laughs> line. He's not Google. And basically, he's, he's he got a bit sick of people ringing up just asking for advice. He's just far, far too busy. So if you need any coding done on all BMWs, Easy man, the link is in the description. So right on cue, Liam arrives here with young Stephen and they make a start on fitting that windscreen. I'll let Liam take it all apart in the previous video, so it's nice to have him here to put it all back together, the camera and light sensor, everything like that. So a bit of a clean up, windscreen in, scuttle panel and wipers back on and job is a good one. Spread over a few days there, getting loads of little bits and pieces done as and when people can come and do them. A few people was concerned about the windscreen. You can see there, we have got a genuine one. And we actually bought this from BMW and we got Liam to come out and fit it. And it was actually reasonably priced on Trade Club at 320 quid. Chris still thinks it was spiteful. <laughs> I thought it was going to be about 800 dear quid. Car, so, dear, parts. dear car, dear parts. We've got bits everywhere for this car. Quietly confident that we got 99.9% of the parts. We're getting there now. Aren't we? Oh, we are getting there with it. One very nasty bit on that bumper, isn't there? Yeah, there is, yeah. Is that 900 odd pounds, isn't it? 500 and something pounds. This bumper has got four of these in it. No, I've said the 900 pounds. Oh, 900. I didn't, I didn't really want to go there. It's making me feel oh, sick oh, still. Yeah. This carbon piece, this carbon air intake is £990 plus VAT, which is unbelievable, isn't it? And that's part of that ultimate pack. Mate, let's crack on with it. Let's get it done. So into the workshop, removing that uh, seal cover. It's actually quite badly damaged at the front. We've got a new one. Back a bit up on the ramp. And then we take the front wheel off and make a start on that wiring and the damage there on the inside edge of that inner arch. I start getting loads of bits out of the container because we want to plug a load of stuff in and just check. Start ironing out all these faults with this car because there's quite a few up on the screen. So the seal plate come off okay, the side skirt. And Chris noticed there's actually a crash sensor there as well, obviously for a side impact. And it has chopped through that one but nice, easy, straightforward repair. And then moving on to the other wiring damage, we just, you see us pulled a bumper in and we just went through because we've got a fair few chomped through there and we've got some here, temperature sensor, 
that are broken. So we was just working out, you can even see on that plug, what goes where. So this is actually the side parking sensor. And this, these broken wires here are just in this loom, so all very repairable. I am going to pop out and get everything from one place because I know they're going to have it and I'll probably show you when I get down there. I'm going to leave you with Chris and he is going to start the repairs on this car, the final repairs in this corner. So leave you to it, mate. So of course it was Bridge End Recycling BMW spares i come down to. We've done a video here previously. I will put a link in the description. So Tyler's given me an assortment there. I've got a couple of plugs for that suspension, a couple of parking sensors, and you can see a new outside to air temperature sensor with a plug. And he just said they started these on the E36 in 1990, whatever it was, and they haven't changed. And you can see there, they're exactly the same. So perfect. I'll put their number in the description down below. Let's get back to the yard and see how Chris has been getting on.
still. Here he goes, just fettling it after that long cut in there. Chris did mean to time lapse it. Accidents happen, but I'm sure you all enjoyed it anyway. I think he's absolutely nailed that and it's back to how it should be. On with the little clamp there. Weld up the, the original brackets, put them back on. Here then mask it up, bit of etch primer on there and then they'll be good for a little bit of base coat over the top and I believe a bit of sealer and I think job is going to be a good one there. We left Chris in charge of the camera there while we popped mm. out and he ended up filming all that live but we yeah. just watched it back and I think it's, yeah. it's actually really good and you yeah. do as well. Yeah. So that is now all repaired. On this particular piece just here, Chris did say he's going to seal that up late with a bit, a bit like of sealer. this has been done yeah. with our spray sealer applicator. I'm going to put that put that down there. But well, it's look, all back. Yeah, it's all back and welded those two brackets on. They just got a bit of top coat on them. Of course, <clears throat> looking good. That is just primer on there. You did that something. is. Yeah, it's yeah. nearly the same colour, it is, isn't it? Yes. But that is just primer. We've got a can of paint, so we will be getting on with that. But just moving on, the wiring damage. I mean, I've been and got all the plugs. There is so much wiring damage. There's seven on that loom. There's probably 10 there on that loom. You can see I've got the new temperature sensor just hanging there ready. And Chris has already set up there with yep. one new solder stick. So we're using solder stick. Again, we've been using this all the time and they mm, are fantastic. So they are basically heat shrink. You've got two waterproof bands inside here. And of course, you've got your solder in the middle. Chris is going to warm that up. The solder and melt. Demo yeah, there, demo it, mate. You can see it all shrinking. And in a minute, the solder's going now. Here she goes. I think jobs are good, mate. It? And that is completely waterproof. It's all soldered up like normal solder and you're gonna have no problems with that whatsoever. Now, Solder Stick, of course, sent us out some of these and they've sent me out another packet. And I said to Chris, what we've decided to do is actually give these away to one of you guys. And just for a bit of fun, really, just, it is gonna be a bit of yes. fun. We want you, I'm gonna put a post out on Instagram and it'll probably just be a picture of this car. And you'll see these in there as well. And what we said, we've, we've just been sitting there having a chat, what's the best thing to do? And we are going to say, guess how much you think this car comes to, total, completely finished and done, to us. And whoever gets near that price, the closest to it, is going to win them solder yeah. sticks and we're going to send them out. And a couple of salvage rebuilds pens. And a couple well. of salvage yeah. rebuilds pens. Do not forget to pop in now the pounds and pence. Because yes. there's going to be pounds and pence yeah. on this one, isn't there? Now we're, it's probably going to be a couple of three weeks before we get to that stage. It is indeed, yeah. But you can start putting your guesses in the in the comments of that particular Instagram. Instagram post only. Yeah. Guys, I'm also going to leave a link for Solder Stick <clears throat> in the description down below. And of course, there is a good little saving on a discount code there for you. we got loads to get on with. I'm going to get on with them ones there. Chris is going to crack on with these ones. And hopefully we can get everything plugged in. So straight on to fixing all of those broken wires and the most of them was there. They was located in that area. I know in a minute Chris puts his hand behind it. I left the camera rolling for a minute and you can see how much of a nice tidy job he done of it. As usual, as we expect and always. Just going to tape it up. No, a couple there left to do. It do those ones, tape it up, and then like I say, yeah, he put his hand behind it and it just looked. That is all of the wiring repaired. Yeah, fingers crossed it works, Rob. That'll be all right, mate. It was I'm sure it will. It, what the damage was isolated to there, it wasn't was, it? Yeah, yeah. And of course, <clears throat> bumper loom. Bumper loom is all done. Now, when I went home last night, Chris actually stayed on an extra hour and he got the wing in primer. And I've just walked in here this morning and I'll keep laughing because Chris has actually edged that up as well in the correct colour. Yeah, and you can't, and you can't, you can't tell. tell can you? <laughs> so that there is actually all painted. Yeah. And look at the difference between that and that. I mean, you could probably hold it against the, because the bracket's fully painted. 
it's almost the same colour. Yeah, you it? can't tell the difference. It's so close to primer. And I'm going to let everyone into a little secret. I went and had the old front wing colour match you did, at yeah. a paint shop. And it's Kia. It come up as a Kia colour. And it was like within 1%. So I guess that, that is the correct colour. So that is all edged up. And I guess we're going to move on to actually getting that fitted now. Uh, yeah, bracket on, uh, and then we can, we can get, fit that. Get, well, yeah. well you, I know you're doing that, and we was waiting for another box of expensive little bits, and they have just arrived. So, got a cover there for the back of the headlight. We've got a fan that goes in the back of the headlight. Two new little ballasts, an LED ballast, and something else yeah. that goes in the back of the headlight. And also, the radar for the front bumper. Yeah. So I'll get them built up and fitted to the headlight. Chris is going to crack on and fit that front it's wing. Completely factory. Onto the headlight. So the top ballast, very, very easy. But you'll see here, there's the tiniest little fan. And I actually had to get Chris to come over. And while I held the headlight, just clipped it in so that I could get one screw in it and get it screwed down. There is, that was it, two dowels, one screw. Once that was screwed in, little cover, two screws on that. The next module, two screws, and that's that headlight all completely done. I was going to say, you can't blame me. I was fitting up the headlight, and Chris got carried away. Well, it's safer on there than anywhere else, isn't it, really? I do think now the colour is apparent. There's a shade or two out there, isn't it? But <laughs> That is only etch primer, right? Yeah. But all round the edges the wing has all been edged up so that doesn't actually have to come back off now does it no that no. can stay on there yeah the headlight we've just fitted in there i've fitted all of those those two new ballasts and that little fan chris 100 and the odd pound for a tiny tiny I little swear fan. they're fans that go in a computer they look very similar yeah. i must admit yeah they do air ducts New ones, they're both fitted. Drop link, Chris has just fitted in. And we've just both agreed. Now is as good time as any. Number one, we've never driven this car and we have got everything for it now, including that brand new radar that I've just put in there. So what we've actually decided is we're gonna put that front bumper on there now and then just go through and actually see if it has still got any faults and how many of them stay, whether they clear. That's right. That's right. I, I don't think, apart from an oversight that we've both missed there, yeah. which was the horn, we yeah. got an extra wire and yeah. wondered what it was for. One of the horns, so obviously this side was broken. Apart from that, I think we've got every part for this car. Well, it's a good way of determining if we've missed something, and if it flags a fault up on one of the systems. Yeah, definitely. But we've got suspension wiring is all back in place, braking, lighting i think everything's wired sensors, up everything's repaired so it's a good time now isn't it i think we're just chuck that otherwise on sorry to interrupt yeah, but otherwise right. it comes back from paint we go to fit it up and then we have faults and worst case you've got to take the bumper back off yeah. and start um fault finding it, but it's quite a nice time to fault find now isn't it yeah definitely <clears throat> yeah let's get that bumper chucked on just there. a couple of cable ties chris is putting on the wire in here to keep it all out of the way and then on with the front bumper just two bolts at the top to hold it in there's no point bolting it on completely because it's got to come off again we've got a new one for it so testing all the lights indicators they're all working time to get that wheel on and get it outside the workshop Mate, apart from one little orange triangle, which yep. is oil service overdue. Yep. Oh, it actually says it yep. up there. Yep. Engine oil service. Everything is back to normal. Everything's working. It's ticking over lovely. That's good, isn't it? It's just good. I mean, you've got no warning lights. So I guess it's time to give it a little run up and down the yard for the first time. I guess so, Exciting mate. Exciting times. It's quite... I've never had a gear stick like that. You've got to knock it over and knock pull it, it back to drive knock it over and push it up for reverse right i guess it's a, a new thing on right. bmw's yeah you can shut it contain the door for us, yeah of course I? what a beautiful looking car i know not everyone's a fan of them front grills but i think the car looks lovely 
Chris just working out how to get it. It is a little bit strange to get in gear. It's not like a normal conventional automatic. Them old tyres kick a few stones they up. They throw up loads of stones. And uh, I guess your tracking's going to be miles out as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, no lights came up there, Rob. I don't really want to gun it. No, no, of course not. Um, no, of course not. It's a shame we can't um, give it some road beans. test it, really, yeah. isn't it? But you yeah. end up covered in um, dents and scratches. Yeah, full of 249 mile range. The, it's full to the brim of fuel. Yeah, I know. Um, 7,222. 27 miles. Beautiful. Stunned. Spin it round, let's see you go down the yard. Oh, mate. Get rid of a bit of that condensation. That reverse is a bit odd, isn't it? It is straight. Oh, yeah. not, not conventional, no. is it? So the car was, of course, we, we need to go back to the date, but I believe that car's been actually sat since December and it did not run until the day we got it back and got it running. So it's been sat outside as well. It hasn't been sat inside. So I guess there's a, a fair bit of moisture and Give it a little bit of bings out, sounds lovely. Yeah, really happy with that. Beautiful. I hate to say it, but it ain't gonna be long before we'll be coming to the end of the series on this BMW. We just said in the next video, there's a few more bits and pieces to do to it. Get it painted, crunch the numbers, and I guess that's going to be it. So probably one more video on that, Chris, right? Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably one more video on it. Really, really happy with the progress. Again, I can't wait to do the numbers and share some of the prices for some of them bits. They are telephone numbers. Unbelievable. And that carbon fibre bit, the price we had for that, I nearly fell over. Anyway, as usual, if you did enjoy this video, we'd really appreciate you hit that thumbs up and hit that share button. If you haven't followed us already on Instagram, it's Selvage Rebuilds. Follow Chris on his jolly, Selvage Rebuilds Chris. Don't forget, like, subscribe and share, and we'll look forward to seeing you all very, very soon in the next one.